Hello everybody, this is Adam Rotano with Red Giant. Today we're going to be running through the workflow for DaVinci Resolve and Pluralize, so we will be covering how to set up your project and the export-import round-trip process. The first thing we're going to do is simply create a project in Resolve and import our media. I'll name this Resolve Pluralize Tutorial. Once that's saved, you can go ahead and import your media. Now this is a very simple uh, three camera shot with a single external audio source. When importing your media, you may be prompted to allow Resolve to change your project settings according to what it determines is the best setup for your particular footage. In this case, all the footage is 24 frames per second, as is the default Resolve project. So in this case, I was not prompted to do so. Now, if you're starting your project in Resolve, you will have the most success if all the clips are the same frame rate. If you are using multiple frame rates, we do recommend starting your project in Pluralize first. Once your files are imported, you don't want to do any editing, color correction, effects, markers, etc. Pluralize will communicate best with Resolve when your clips are untouched. So now you can populate your timeline with your footage. Uh, in this case, I recommend giving each source its own track. If you have multiple clips for each source, of course, you just want to make sure that each source gets its own track, like you're just setting up a regular project without going to pluralize. Perfect. Now we just need to export our timeline. You had to file, export, XML. Now it's important to choose the FCP 7 v5 files option. I like to be explicit when I'm naming my files, so I'm going to rename this to resolve pluralize tutorial and place it in a folder that I will remember where it's at, which is actually in the project folder itself. Great, now it's saved as an XML. We can head over to Pluralize. If you head up to File, Import from DaVinci Resolve, it'll give you the option to pull in the XML that you just saved. Once it's imported, it will prepare your media. Once it's prepared, go ahead and click Synchronize. This is real-time syncing, so it happens really quickly. And everything looks like it's pretty well synced. There's this camera two, which has very low audio. So if you like, you can check it in the monitor by clicking the media icon. You'll want to find some spot in the sync where there is a matching audio, uh, both visually and audibly. Once you locate it, make sure that the clip is highlighted. A good method is just to deselect everything that you don't want to check against. Sometimes when I'm hankering for a nice juicy... Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So let's check one more here. See how that sounds? Sometimes when I'm hankering for a... Yeah, I think we're ready to export. So if you click the Export Timeline button, by default, the file will be saved in a pluralized folder found under your user documents folder. So I'm going to change this to the project folder itself and rename the file by adding sync to the end so it doesn't overwrite my Resolve XML export. Click on the file name and navigate to the save location of your choice. Now I'll just rename this with a sync at the end, so it's not overwritten. There's an option here to also move unsynchronized clips to the end, which, as it says, it will just move the unsynchronized clips to the end of your project, mark them in red, or you can deselect it if that's not something that you need for your project. So now you can click Export and move back into Resolve. So once back into Resolve, you can see this is your timeline that you exported previously. 
You just have to import your timeline. There's a couple different ways of doing it. Timeline import, or you can go to file, import timeline, locate the sync file that you just created. Double click on it, click OK. And in just a moment, your synced project pops up in Resolve. You can check it if you like, or you can just move on to any editing or color correction that your project requires. So that's it. Pluralize in Resolve. This is Adam Ritano with Red Giant. Thank you for watching. Happy editing.